Hey, I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about cranial bones or cranial sacral work, which is, you know, your butt and your cranium. Um, we used to think that the craniums, uh, when they uh, the sutures close and they um, kind of fuse together, when we hit about one year, one year old, uh, from starting to walk, that uh, they don't move at all. And they actually do. They move ever so slightly and actually do have receptors in them that stimulate the nervous system. So they're super, super important. And, you know, we, we walk and we, we're about, oh gosh, about 12, we probably fell in about seven or 8,000 times. We bumped our heads and every parent knows, man, kids smacking into things that they, you know, don't know that they can't get under. So again, that cranium gets beat up. And when it gets beat up, it doesn't move very well. That's not even getting into birthing traumas, right? So birthing is tra traumatic, right? We always think about mom. Well, think about baby, right? Well, it's, it's tough for baby too. And so we'll have uh, changes in that. We'll have a lot of stuff happen where the baby can be colicky or, you know, they might not be able to, you know, move their bowels very well. And we'll have babies come in and we'll ever so slightly work on them, you know, massage and gently kind of get those joints to move better and move more free. Um, and again, they start to actually decrease their uh, stresses and they might move their bowels better or they not as colicky anymore. And we look at the cranium, and the sacrum, it kind of acts like a pump to pump cerebral spinal fluid up and down the spine, right? So we look at that, we want to just make sure all of that's flowing and moving correctly. And again, as we breathe, there's certain ways that those joints move with inspiration, inspiration and expiration. And so we, as, as chiropractic, we're just looking in there and we're palpating and we're seeing, is it actually doing that? And if not, we can't really necessarily adjust it, but we can call what we call respiratory adjustments. And we get in there and we start uh, more massaging in the way that that joint should be moving with the phase of respiration and we start to get it moving a little bit better and then again we'll see kind of everybody the range of motion will get better we really see it with adults and migraines so a lot of patients come in they'll have a headache they'll actually have been diagnosed with migraines and we'll just start looking for if there are those, those cranial bones moving correctly right with the respiration and if they're not we start working on and lo and behold a lot of times the frequency duration intensity uh, of those migraines and headaches start to decrease and anybody who's had a migraine don't take any thing to kind of support the body especially if it's natural and it doesn't typically a two source sometimes when we're working on the processes back here they are pretty tender i'd be lying if i have a patient watching that i work on and says ah it doesn't hurt it, it's a little sore but once they get moving correctly they have a ton of relief from a lot of things you know allergies as well right we've only got so much room in there if things start to get inflamed it might not be all chemistry it could be structure and those cranial bones not moving correctly and again we get more inflamed from a structural standpoint and again that might play into working on people that have you know allergies issues especially here in Texas so again cranial bones super super important and again cranial sacral function they move together in unison the hips and the sacrum so we want to make sure we're working on both of those if we can and that they're working properly in unison together so I'm Dr. Ozzy don't forget about your cranium we hope to see you in here at the Functional Medicine Wellness Center